What do you think about this information? Let's find out with me. Meghan Markle loved British men and wanted a British boyfriend when she visited London in 2013, according to the Duchess of Sussex's friend. This week, Prince Harry and Meghan appeared on the cover of Time magazine as they were named among the 100 most influential people in the world. Their appearance on the iconic publication comes the same week Harry celebrates his 37th birthday and months after the couple welcomed their daughter Lilibet. Harry has celebrated his second birthday since the Sussex's unprecedented 2020 decision to step down as a senior member of the royal family. Time writer Jose Andres said, In a world where everyone has an opinion about people they don't know, the Duke and Duchess have compassion for the people they don't know. They don't just opine they run towards the struggle. The prince revealed to the BBC that he and Meghan met on a blind date in 2016 that had been set up by a mutual friend. The move allegedly caused a rift between the couple and the rest of the royals, which reportedly widened since Harry and Meghan's bombshell two-hour CBS interview with Oprah and the Duke's announcement that he is to release a memoir. Meghan loved British men and wanted a British boyfriend when she visited London in 2013. Image. Getty. This week Prince Harry and Meghan featured on the cover of Time magazine. Image. Getty. Speaking on Channel 5 documentary Meghan and Fergie. Inconvenient Royals Ms. Cundey said, We got on like a house on fire Meghan had a great sense of fun. She loved London, she loved British men, she wanted a British boyfriend, and she wanted to work in London. I could help her get to the right places and meet the right people. Yet three years earlier, when the Duchess of Sussex visited the UK to promote Netflix legal drama suits, she allegedly loved British men, and was eager to find a British boyfriend according to Meghan's friend Lizzie Cundé. Meghan told Lizzie Cundy in 2013 that she wanted to stick around in London. Image. Getty. The documentary also unearths a prophetic 2013 interview with Meghan conducted by TV presenter Ms. Cundy. When asked how she enjoyed London, Meghan responded, It is very cold, but the people are so warm. As cheesy as that sounds I was joking today that I've never been called love or darling more in my life. It makes me want to stick around for a while. Charles shared a touching photo of him and Harry on a South Africa tour. Image. Getty. The interview took place at the Me Hotel in London for an event also attended by listers Victoria Beckham and Eva Longoria. In the 2018 BBC interview to mark their engagement, the couple revealed that their relationship moved very quickly from the first date. When Harry was subsequently asked at a Kensington Palace photo call when he knew Meehan was the one, he quickly replied, The very first time we met. Since the couple's 2018 wedding at Windsor Castle the Sussexes have been at the centre of alleged rifts in the royal family, reportedly triggered by their decision to step back from the senior royal duties. Yet, to celebrate Harry's 37th birthday the Prince of Wales shared a touching photo of the pair on Clarence House social media. The photo was of Charles and Harry on a royal engagement together in South Africa, months after the tragic passing of the Duke of Sussex's mother Princess Diana. In particular, Harry has reportedly had friction with his brother Prince William and claimed to Oprah that the pair were on different paths, before stressing that he loved the Duke of Cambridge.
the Duke of Sussex has also allegedly endured a tense relationship with his father Prince Charles, which reportedly worsened after Harry claimed on podcast Armchair Expert that genetic pain and suffering had been passed down from his parents. What do you think about this incident? Leave a comment below this video now, subscribe to stay up to date with us.